Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're playing Firewatch. I am super excited to be playing this game because I have wanted to play this for years. I remember watching it when it first came out, like back in 2016-ish, and I don't remember anything about the actual story, but I remember it was really beautiful and that the story was good and I liked it. So yeah, I'm excited to be able to do my first playthrough of it um, and be able to rediscover the game. If you have not heard of this game before, no worries. It's essentially a very, very atmospheric atmospheric adventure story based uh, walking sim sort of thing and as the title would suggest of course you are the fire watch so the people that sit up in the towers and watch out for like forest fires and stuff like that as always we will be streaming this live on twitch so if you see a little chat going by inside and i'm talking to people that is why be sure to leave that link down below in the description box as well as the playlist link for this playthrough down there as well because i will be splitting this up into a few different parts don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you end up liking it but otherwise let's go ahead and just jump right into it. All right. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. I don't know if I have to click to progress. Oh, I see. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with the well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, or Henry, uh, are drinking with your pals. You approach her. Oh, shit. You are drunk. <laughs> nice. Uh, so what's your major? Oh, what's, oh, what's your, you know, major? You, <laughs> you're pretty. <laughs> what would we say as drunk Henry? <laughs> you, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. We're in. You are not. <laughs> you are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Holy shit, dude. We're too good. Oh. Okay. That's to see objects. Alright. We're in an elevator. Backpack. Is this mine? It is now. <laughs> My sensitivity is insane. I'll try to move slowly. Okay, is that my car? Can I wonder? Load gear, truck bed. Wow. I <laughs> I don't think the trunk needed to be open for that. You date for a year. For over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beers uh, just about anywhere. Life is good. That sounds like a pretty good life. She's smooth. I feel like Julia led that. <laughs> Julia wants to get a dog. Julia. I like Julia. I like dogs. <laughs> There's a scruffy, undersized eagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. That's a misconception, but sure. Okay, you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the, ger the shepherd and name him Mayhem. How can I say no to Bucket? Hell yeah, Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. What the hell? Get both! Julia loves him. You love him too. I love Bucket. You great. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radi radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. <laughs> uh, kids? <laughs> They're not very smart. Or good at much. True. <laughs> um, I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Oh, we were doing so well. <laughs> that would be pretty good. One day. Why rush? Can I not just say no? What? Well, yeah, one, one day. She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. We can always adopt. We can go back and get mayhem. <laughs> you tell her she has the body of an undergrad. Ew. Henry? My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Oof, that's <laughs> a little yikes. Okay, one day, she says. Six months later and you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Cute. Oh, shit. Alrighty, where are we? In the forest? 
thoroughfare trailhead. Do not forget to check in. You are in their country. Learn to live with bears. True. We're just gonna have to learn to bear with it. <laughs> Sorry. No fireworks. Uh, thoroughfare fair trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Okay. Um, little mailbox I can't interact with. This is so pretty. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh, Julia? You good? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. What? These are our two options? If she's been having a fun time, why are you getting mad? Okay, but like, ignoring her is even worse, right? I don't know. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have ignored her. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws points from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. Who's He-Man? You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You were very pretty. Thank you! Whoa, this is fucking pretty. What the? This is hella pretty! <laughs> Holy fuck, this is pretty. I'm taking a screenshot. <laughs> Two forks, lookout tower. Eight more minutes still. Alright. Spacebar to climb over obstruction. Nice. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Hell yeah. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, bucket gets kicked. Oh. But, 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 fuck, da, 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 dog. Julia yells. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably not how she yelled. <laughs> she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. Oh. Uh, you confront the attacker. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. You beat his goddamn face in! Don't you dare touch my fucking bucket! Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Oh. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. Take a different path? Oh, oh, because of what we're, we're on a walk. Gotcha. You say okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get so waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Nice! Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Asso associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh. Convince her not to take the job? Agree if she commutes back and forth. Just fucking go with her. What the hell? Okay. Commutes back and forth, I guess. I feel like you shouldn't be convincing your partner not to take like a dream job. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you if you don't move. Oh, if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after, ha after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Oh. Honestly, both of these? Maybe you make macaroni and drink wine and then say that someone should, you know, take a look at it. Okay, I'm gonna say we take a look at it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Why a secret? That sucks, dude. I'm like, dementia is one of the scarier things that I'm personally scared of. Now where are we? Journal? Oh! <laughs> so pretty! <laughs> Wait, I want to read it! <laughs> Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's 
uh, kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. One week later, she goes back to the university. I wasn't prepared for feelings, so <laughs> oh, no. 1987, Julie's affliction, oh sorry, affliction get, gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has, has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Damn. Some days later, uh, some, <laughs> sorry. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh shit, dude. They tell her family. They're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. In 1988, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count, you count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia should uh, could live somewhere else, somewhere within a 24-hour care home. He sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you're determined to take care for yourself. Oh, <laughs> fuck, dude, I don't know. What do you guys think? On one hand, like, if the nurse is suggesting that she should... Well, it says Julia could live somewhere else, not that she should, but usually if someone suggests that, it means that they should. But also, generally, it's best to take care of them if you have the means to uh, yourself as long as possible to help memory jogs and stuff. I'm like scared if I pick take care of her yourself that she would end up getting hurt. But I feel like if you go into full-time care, her memory will deteriorate faster. Both have ups and downs, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take care of her myself. I don't know if that's the right option. Alright, back in the woods. I love the style of it, like the art style is so nice. Ugh. Don't fall. <gasps> oh! Why did you even see him there? It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. Oh. Uh, fuck, okay, I think I would put a chair in front of the bedroom door if you were gonna, gonna go out, but at the same time, if she did wake up and she found that she was trapped, then she might have an episode versus if she got up, she might have just gone to the bathroom or something. Yeah, maybe I should have picked the 24-7 care. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put a chair in front of the door. I feel like she'd freak out if she doesn't know what's going on, right? But like, maybe she wouldn't wake up. Oh, maybe I should have picked the other one. You go to the same same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Uh, over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't- you don't argue. Oh. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Into the lookout tower. Oh. This game is really pretty. So we fucking abandoned her. What the actual fuck, dude? Alright. This is so pretty. Even though Henry's kind of an ass. But... Like, I get that it would be hard for you too, but like... Damn, dude. Maybe I should have just put her into the care. But then, I don't know. I feel like her memory would get worse, and then, did I just miss the door? <laughs> I just missed the door, sorry. And then I feel like, as well, like, 
I don't know. Do you think Henry would actually visit her? Turn on the power. This is spooky. <laughs> Alright, generate you switch. Nice. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Oh, radio. Hello. The Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Thoroughfare. Hold left to activate the radio. Oh, left shift. Hello? Oh, uh, release. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what hey the there, guy said on the phone. <laughs> so, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh... Oh, uh, you've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against mom, nobody back home can stand you. Oh, definitely the first one. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Bravo. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. I like it a lot so far. Day one. Oh shit. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. What? You can see me at your desk? I wonder if I could have used anything before I went to bed. I didn't know if it would interrupt the voices, so I didn't bother. Alright. Sorry, I guess hey. I slept in. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Thank you for the Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. <laughs> the money There's with my Clorox. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Uh, oh, <laughs> just yeet it. Uh, a map, yes, I totally see it. Okay, yeah, I see it. Got it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, oh. language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Which way is west? Confirm what Delilah is seeing. Are those fucking fireworks? I don't know. And to use compass. Oh! Uh... I need you to confirm, do you see them? I... <laughs> I don't see them. Wait, <laughs> this is the sign. Seriously, are you seeing this? I'm- hold on, Delilah! It's this way, right? I've used a compass before. Uh... Henry! Hi! Let me just- can I go out? <laughs> oh! I can hey, see your, I can tower. See your tower! Yeah, great. I'm north of you. Those fireworks are west of you. <laughs> okay, wait. Never eat so- wait. Okay, this, this way, this way. Oh, I see them! <laughs> Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is <laughs> through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest <sighs> ranger is like two days away. Go down right. there and set them straight. I got you. Don't even worry. Like, kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? Uh, I'm not really into discipline. Do you think you can handle that? Uh... Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. 
All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. We'll probably need a rope extra. to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually one, that two, for four. all of them. Okay. Secure. Secure. Shut mm. up. Cookbook. Cast iron pan. What is this? Coffee percolator? <laughs> oh! Damn, dude. My name's too good. Oh, you can put them back in its spot. That's nice. Alright. Can I pick the, uh, this up? I need something to kick some ass. <laughs> Did that say manly thermos? Damn, dude. This <laughs> this thermos is so manly. <laughs> Who knew even your thermos could have fun? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Glass cleaner. Can I use it? No. <laughs> Alright. Um, anything else? Flora of the Shoshone poster. Alright, different types of trees. Some maps. Wyoming. Broken clock, a pine cone, uh, supply. What is this? Desk drawer. Oh, I can't open it. Another pine cone. Alright. I'm gonna put this right here. Sa safe and sound. Fuck. Alright, let's bring this with us on our on our way. Can I wait, should I bring my backpack? I don't think I can. Oh! Does it for me. Nice. We're gonna bring our, our friendly pine cone with us, of course. And I'm gonna remember which direction I'm going, which is west. Oh. Alright. Don't let me lose the pine cone. <laughs> I feel like it would blend in really too well. M3. Oh shit, I can't! Hold on. I can't do it at the same time. <laughs> Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Can I zoom? Oh, I can. Oh, thank god. Okay, that's me. And we're going to 306. So I need to go that way? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I need to zoom there. Oh wait, maybe not. No, that wouldn't make sense because I'm going that way. Okay. I'm really bad at reading maps. Don't worry, I got my pine cone. <laughs> Jonesy Lake, 0.7 miles to the west. All right, can I run? Can I talk to Delilah? Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in for for a fit? What is it for a fest? For a fest? For a for, for I forget what I forget already. Don't mind me. This is so pretty. What the hell? Pinecone buddy. People shy. Oh, spacebar, hop over. How are you doing? If this was uh, real life <laughs> geocaching, I would be the one. With, I would. I, I would. I would. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> I would be found dead somewhere. I kept thinking it said found dad somewhere. I'm like, oh. That's where I go. Blocked trail. Overgrown trail. I've got trail. an overgrown trail here. <gasps> yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> um, can I get my fucking pine cone? Alright, thank you. <laughs> I think I saw the box. <laughs> I was waiting for that ref. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking it. Oh, I thought that was a, a bunny or something. Supply crate. I found it. Uh, are there a lot of these out in the woods? So are there a lot of these out in the woods? <laughs> yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Oh, Delilah. If only you knew that I'm a loot gremlin. <gasps> There's another pine cone! Wait, where did my pine cone go? Oh fuck, I lost my pine cone. Was this it? Did it roll that way? Where is that my pine cone? 
Oh shit, now my other pinecone's stuck. <laughs> Alright, let me just toss this in here. I'm gonna take the rope, deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. Alright, I got you. Um, oh, there's map. Copy map info. Ooh, that's cool. Map updated. What is it? Ah, oh, alright. And there's a note! Whoa. Um, Ron. Hey man, couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout uh, lookout, and put some stuff in the box. On one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Okay, thanks, thanks Todd. Drop, examine, read, keep. Okay, let's keep it. Ah! Got a granola bar. Nice. Eat, hold, E. Do I eat it? Oh. Good. Got it. I think that's it. Let me get my pine cone. Should I close this? I don't think I can. Did you guys do scouts or girl scouts or whatever the, the thing was? Is this the game people put as their wallpaper? Yes, actually. It's super fucking pretty. Alright. Let's continue. Also, high corrupted Kino. Uh, left or right? Where am I? I don't know. Can I examine my pine cone? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Majestic pine cone. Little pine cone buddy. I'll use this as a uh as a defense a defense uh what is it called? A defense <laughs> weapon. <laughs> That's the word. Yep. You know, some people throw Pokemon balls. I throw Pine cones at your ball. <laughs> um, anyway. Art to toggle jogging. Oh shit, I can jog? Heck yeah. I'm so fast. I guess I don't really have to follow the actual trail, huh? I can just go across here. I wanted to do brownies or whatever it was before Girl Scouts, but uh, it was too much. I would just crawl under the big parachute. Oh no! Uh, rope hook. Attached hook, hook to hook. Shales slide? It's sleep. St steep. Can I? Do I have to? I should, right? Wait. Uh, okay, wait. I'm going down there, so I'll just eat that down there. And hopefully <laughs> I can get it after. Alright. Down we go. Space bar to... What does it say? Rappel? Rappel? Oh, heck yeah. Easy. No, no, no! Oh. <sighs> it's gonna hurt. Oh, pine cone, I'm so glad you're here with me. <laughs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think Just I'll the make rope. It. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. That's tall. All right, all right, I'm gone. Dude, it's almost sundown. I gotta hurry. They're gonna be gone by the time I get there. <sighs> Report Meadow. Hell of a nice camping spot. Uh, these cliffs down here are something. I'm not sure where to look. Uh, it is a hell of a nice camping spot down here. Betcha. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Am I going the right way? Y yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. Oh wait, Planning there's a beer, bunch can. of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Penny, what are you drinking? Red Eagle, brewed in Wyoming. Uh, should I? Oh, I can clean them up. Oh heck yeah, I'm cleaning it. Nothing better than. Cleaning so damn my pine cone's just going, huh? Don't go too far without me. Gotcha. Alright. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> I wonder if cleaning this up changes anything. Probably not, right? Hmm. What's that? I see a backpack. 
That's not mine, right? Oh. They left the like... packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. True. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Um, okay, let me stomp this out. We don't need no forest fires here. We stomp it out some more. All the way. Stompy stomp. I don't know how many times I have to do this. <laughs> Alright, seems good. Oh shit, Ferret or Irish. Ooh. Single malt whiskey. Can I take it? Save for later. Oh heck, it's mine now. That's right, kitties. <laughs> fireworks. Uh bundle of fireworks. Oh, Jesus don't Found the fireworks. Them. They didn't even try to hide them. Confiscate them. Alright. I'm confiscated. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink <laughs> shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. True. Red Eagle is knockoff Red Bull. Oh, is it really? Wait, is that a real uh, beer brand? I've never actually heard of it before. Oh. There's well, clothes the here. Dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what what is that sound? Is that my pine cone? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oh, uh, alright. Let's go, piney. Oh shit! <laughs> I hear music. I found a bra. Uh, I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> Fuck. Um. <laughs> Did that just cover my pine cone? Hold on. Excuse, dude. Uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> don't Why, say that word. 12? Another because, one. Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Two? I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I see them in the distance. Um, um, ladies, they're drunk. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light any. You asshole! Light another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. You, they're teens. You can't just harass girls <laughs> in the woods. Let's get out of here. Where are you going? What? I didn't. <laughs> no way. Where's my pine cone? Oh fuck. Did I go okay? Uh. It went fine. It's done. It. <laughs> it went fine. I'm fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this right back here. Um, like nothing ever happened. Alright. <laughs> well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. <laughs> yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like this is it. So pretty. I like this so much. Can I take a screenshot? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a screenshot. Damn, I didn't think that would actually work. 
Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright. Now that we've done with those scoundrels... Where am I headed? Hold on, Pinecone. Um, where are we? Oh, we're all the way down here. So I need to go back to Two Forks. Two Forks Lookout. Alright. I mean, I could probably just go back the way I came, right? Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Oh, true. You right, you right. Good thinking. Alright. Let's hustle back. Ain't nothing else to see here. Hop- oh shit, we're just gonna hop over this just for fun. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, if I'll get in trouble for tossing their boombox. I mean, I put it right back where I found it, right? So, like, technically... They can't prove that I did anything, right? <laughs> Plus, if they were teens... What's that? Oh, is it just puffs of dirt? Never mind. I thought it was more fireworks. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh? What is, what it? is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Um, it's not a big deal? Uh huh, it's, it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Is this anyway, the trail? Let me know when you get back to your lookout. What's that sound? Oh, it's a nearby hey, I storm. Heard some thunder. Yeah, oh, I've got eyes God. on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It it's just means we'll be, be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Uh, I got hit by li night, 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 light, <laughs> lightning when I was nine. Um, <gasps> did I take too long? Oh fuck! I took too long. I can't reply now. Man, let me see. Let me in here. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Voila. Alright, I'm gonna update my map real quick. <laughs> oh! Oh, you can close it! Um, a horn? There's a horn, a horn in here. An antler or whatever. Well are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Oh, okay, what do I do with it? Just toss it back, I guess? I don't think I can take it with me. Oh, it doesn't work. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, but that is quite useful, so... Alright. Oh, there's a cave here. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. So pretty. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. <laughs> Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh my god, this is scary. Obviously, be very careful. Obviously. Play with the cave's echo. Uh, it's alright to hike through here? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> this is fucking creepy, dude. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. 
Uh, report This lock cave key. is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. He available Makes at Ranger sense. Station. Although, Debbie says she lost him like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Henry! Oh, Hank. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, I thought that was a hole, but it's just the shadow. Alright. A little, a little sus, but alright. Don't fall again, Henry. <laughs> Dude, why is this game scary? I didn't think this game was supposed to be scary. <laughs> okay, let's let's get back. I want to go back home. What? There's some guy out here. Some guy? Hello? Wait, he's looking at you. Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. He left. Henry, there's there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I'm over. Okay, but that was a little scary, right? That's not just me. That that was a little creepy. He didn't say nothing or anything. Just looking at me. Ooh. Nice. Sit down, Henry. Dude, I'm scared. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We still got Pinecone. Surprisingly haven't lost it. Let's go investigate. Let's, uh, let's see. Where do I go here? Can I go up? Over here? Oh, oh, I see. This doesn't feel like the path I was supposed to go on. Bruh. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Up and Adam. Do you guys like camping? Have you gone camping in a place like this? The only camping I've done is like cabin camping, so I haven't really gone like camping camping in a, in a tent or anything. I feel like it would be really fun and really pretty, but I feel like I would get spooked so easily just from all of like the horror games and shit that I have played and watched. Damn, look at us go! And rock climbing. You still as a kid, miss parts of it. Did you ever have any spooky experiences? <laughs> any distant figures in the too far distance? Good, good. Take a rest. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Oh my god, Henry. You scared the shit out of me. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. <laughs> it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. What's this? Bear Tooth Point, 1.3 miles to the north. What's that sound? Oh, it's an outhouse. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, oh my Henry. God. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one the at fuck least. fuck is this? And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Alright. Let me just put this down for a second and investigate. Is that an egg? Oh, it's a baseball. Yep. Let me see if I can... Huh. Ay. Hole in one. <laughs> uh, the outhouse is gross today and it will be gross forever. 
Well, all okay. bacteria die during the winter, so anything you smell and don't like in there is your own brand, just so you know. Ugh, mm. well, then I'm a disgusting animal. Can I say anything else about it? Not really. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and Quite well, that I remember. we don't have much in the way of electronics, so... You remember being, uh, doing an old mine tour? Oh. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Guys, I lost my pine cone. Delilah! I lost my pine cone. Did I... Where did I put it? No! Oh wait, I put it on the trail. Oh, 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 okay, I got it, I got it. Don't worry, Pinecone. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe it. What is this music for? Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? <sighs> yeah, look, uh, <laughs> I don't like that. No, how the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. I... Fuck, I'm sorry, Pinecone. I gotta take this with me. I'm confused. Are you sure you I want to go inside? Because obviously if they got my typewriter, then they got inside. You know? God, I'm scared. Don't, don't, don't jump scare me. Report Vandal. Oh. <laughs> Just Someone broke toss in. It they what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Well, can I close the door? Apparently not. Uh. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. You won't be cold. Are you sure? Because it seems like. I should take care of this. Okay, I put in a call. Thanks. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're oh, not exactly my bleach. Hawaii 5 -0. Do you have any idea oh, who would have done this? The ghost of the lake? Uh, yeah, who's out Hello? here? Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Oh. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about dude, who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Call me, call me Lane. Thank you so much for the host. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't. Just tell me where to find it again. Uh, don't, don't worry. worry. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? You betcha. I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. <laughs> Day two. What? I didn't even get to clean everything. <laughs> that thermos already. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. It's a manly Wake thing. Up. I'm awake. What do you mean? Hey, wake up. What? I'm awake! I'm, I'm awake. awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Forest service? Oh, I don't uh, really know why that would be the case. no backup. Should I go fix it? Should I be worried? I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Canyon? Yeah, of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Straight Will to do. the north. Thanks, Hank. I forgot already. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Oh Hank. my god, my bleep just thanks. Have it with Hank. Fucking party. No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright. 
You good, Bleach? Can I- can I assist you? You just- <laughs> Alright, you just keep swimming there, bud. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- oopsie, I'm gonna finish cleaning up here. Clean up all my books and shit. So that if they ransack me again, oh, I can tell, you know. Uh, open my door. There we go. Alright, got my bag. Where was I going? Uh... I was going... I'm here, and then I need to go... There? Survey communication lines north of the canyon. Under canyon, boy. Oh, over here? I don't know, but I guess... I guess we'll see. Let's see. Pinecone, are you here? Oh, <gasps> yes! Let's go. Okay. I need to go back to the canyon, which is... This way, right? Jonesy Lake? Fuck, I forget. North of the canyon. And I'm here. I'm guessing it's this red line here. This is the first box that I came to, right? Or fog, yes. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. It's, this Roger is my that. first one. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Bucket. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. Oh, I didn't mean to skip dog. that. What Sorry. type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Seems hey, good. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. I can hear you. No, I don't think he has any idea. Listen, I'm gonna listen. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Clawed up tree. Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. What hey, you hiding sorry from about me? that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Ask about that call. Oh, uh. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, oh, I went the wrong way. Actually, it's your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Delilah stepped away. She's annoyed. Uh... Oh, I can't even message her now because she stepped away. And I lost my pine cone! God damn it. I went the wrong way, too. Ah, oh, shit. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Delilah. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's go, Pinecone, buddy. I'm never gonna lose you again. Oh, this view. Can I... can I... Man, I can't even talk to Delilah about this view! I can't read maps. I... Okay, so I need to go... Which way? North of the canyon. Which is that way, right? Fuck, did I just lose my pine cone again? I lost my fucking pine cone. They roll away so quickly! <laughs> Shit, dude, what the hell? <laughs> oh man. A pine cone. I think you need to backtrack uh, to the cash box and then head north. Yeah, I think so. Can I talk to her about this now? Oh. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws Jesus. on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. 
Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Nice. Don't you think that's disconcerting? You pine. No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Lady? Don't call her lady. Okay, let's take another look. We're here. And then I need to go north. I would not survive in the wilderness. I can't read maps. I have no sense of direction. What's that? Is that a cash box? This looks like the right way, right? Because there's water. I don't know why. You fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Um, I got the job on a paper. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What? What the heck? I've got no time to die. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that. Now, yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. <laughs> Glad it worked. <laughs> what happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean. The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Twitch, Twitch Prime? No. Oh. Do you know what Twitch Prime is? <laughs> what? Hey, I got a 30 cents oh. a raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I can reply fast enough. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, sorry. Six months, bye. Enjoy your new uh, sub badge. <laughs> Also, hi, Kenstigator! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> okay, so this is the way that we came from as well. So I don't know why I didn't just think about that, because... <laughs> it's already the trail that we came from. So I need to go that way, right? Oh, wait, is that gonna take my pinecone? Oh, thank god, okay. We're good. I never got my dab? You redeemed a dab? Oh, I didn't even notice! Oh, and Kieran redeemed a dab as well! Okay, alright. No one for Andy as well. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming your gremlin gibbies. What's with the pinecone? It's it's sun. Little pinecone buddy. Um, definitely the first pinecone. I didn't lose any pinecones. Um, because I can take care of my children. My pine cone children. <laughs> Absolutely. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Chad? <laughs> pine cone number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't lose this one. My first one. Okay, thank, thank god. I'm going the right way. We never forget. What do you- There's nothing to forget. First pine cone. <laughs> I swear, with how long it takes me to find my way, I'm surprised it's not already nightfall. <laughs> okay, so... Here... Oh yeah, and then I was supposed to go back here, right? Cave. Twitch, Twitch oh, Prime fuck. Sub. Do you know what Twitch Prime is? Well, let me tell you. Oh, Leafy! Thank you so much for the Prime sub of three months! Oh shit! Have a have a oh yeah yeah but that but do I <laughs> what <laughs> enjoy your new sub badge that's what I meant to say <laughs> thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub <laughs> feel like you're gonna get jump scared by your own alert <laughs> what never <laughs> okay so I need to go this way right here we go. South? I mean, no, north of the canyon. Yes. Got it. Gap in bush. Clear it. Did I really need two hands for that? Alright. There's two ways here. Unless. Never mind, they just go the same way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> yeah, what's up, do? Talking is hard, okay? <laughs> Alright. Well, Scoochie. I feel like I have to look up all the time in case I see that figure again. Am I going the right way? Feels like this is the right way. Let's see. 
Yeah! Alright, alright. Utility pole. Can uh, see I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Right, yes. That's what we were here for. I forgot. <laughs> Is this the top of the trail? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Uh, follow it. Okay. Got it. Oh my god, there's so many. Alright. Holy, how far am I supposed to run? I should really have backup for this. This isn't even my job. <laughs> oh, I see a box over there. Okay, well, I don't really have to go all the way over there, right? I can just take a shortcut, maybe? And, uh, and loot some stuff? Alright, let me in here. Oh my god. Don't fall, please. I'm gonna toss you this way. One. Two, three, four, I'm in. Alright, copy down the map info real quick. Map updated. Oh, there's a note. Report the note. Uh, hold on, I want to read it first. Oh my god, so close. Dave, hey y'all, got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. Or co-workers, you know? Amigos. Professionals. Oh no. Uh, if you need someone to throw a case with uh, and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not the life stuff. Oh, not great with the life stuff, you get it. Hmm. Hey, who are these guys Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the oh guy with the God. flashlight? Triple point now. They're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know but him I saw that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing oh tail and getting loaded. <gasps> it's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? <laughs> Actually, pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Well, what do Love I call him. it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, oh, Turt Reynolds, Shelly Duvar, Bucket Jr. It's a secret. Oh, 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 uh, uh. Oh, Turt oh, yeah. Reynolds. Well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Mine! My turtle! Fuck, where's my pinecone? Got it. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> turtle in the shape of a friend. Bucket Jr. Maybe I should have named it Bucket Jr. I like the puns though. The stakes are higher. <laughs> Don't lose the sun. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't lose him. I, I won't lose him. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Inspect the communication line pull up close. Okay, alright. Does that mean we get to meet Delilah? Huh, so I wonder, like, I guess you can, the, the... Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking uh -oh. kids. How do you think they'd be up here? How can these go that way? Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. <laughs> so maybe uh, because I dropped their boombox <laughs> in the. Uh, in the thingy. Long drop. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Oh. Mm, 
That is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Damn. You gotta say it like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this one. Just tuck it right- oh, perfect. Clean up all these beer cans. What does that say? Go to hell? You go to hell. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then find what? them? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. <gasps> what do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. True. Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Mm -hmm. Alright. Following the beer cans. I can't believe I almost fucking forgot my funny <laughs> Okay. Uh, long drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Jonesy Lake, two miles to the south, two forks, supply drop. Supply drop? Oh shit. Alright, I'm just gonna try and see if I can find the supply. I know I'm supposed to go the other way, but I wanna get that box. I'm invested in these notes. Whoa. This is so fucking pretty! What the actual fuck, dude? Wow. Ooh, big one. Okay, one, two, three, four. What you got? Ooh, must speak to forks and spruce. There ain't shit in here. All right, let me. Should I go that way? I feel like I'm not supposed to go this way, but I'm kind of curious. But maybe it will just lead me to a dead end. Ooh. What's this? Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. <gasps> no kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers oh. use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? <laughs> yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. I love her. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to visit Delilah. I apparently can't come this way. Oh, no, I can. I was just stuck. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? 
No, it no. looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin's backpack. It's Brian Go Well, I am flush with ropes now. Nice. The pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came oh. with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Oh shit! With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, that with looks Dad sus. Ned three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Um, why? Yeah, Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Mm. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Thanks. Two forks. Okay. New one. That fucking looks sus as hell, though. CDU's disposable camera. Oh. Should I save it, then? Oh, I can't even exit. Oh, see the lower camera. Okay. I don't want to waste it, just in case. What if we need it? I need to take some uh, some mug shots for those girls, you know. <laughs> the fuck is that? Oh, it's branches. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was arrows for some reason. Uh, Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Oh shit. No, not that shithead Steve. Steve, it's your man Ron. I went to check up on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. Uh, so I figured to s I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having- having him- having himself? Having himself in that hammock, excuse me? I'm starting to think uh, the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb on the spot. Alright, Ron. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda thought Dave and Ron were, uh, were, uh, you know, uh, together, but... What is this? Uh, someone found a what? fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person what? who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Oh wait, can I take it? No, I can't. Oh shit, we got a stone now! Oh fuck, do we take stone or should I keep pine cone? <laughs> I don't know her, but I stand. She's great. <laughs> Snap pics of girls. Uh, maybe the plot will thicken and they fall in love? True. Huh. Oh. Stone the girls? No! <laughs> what the fuck? I can't even save this for later. <laughs> Debates about letting Pinecone go. <laughs> Shake's head, what? Alright, fine, I'll leave the stone, I guess. Let's go Pinecone. <laughs> oh! Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for Firewatch Part 1. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It is super fucking beautiful. It's so pretty. I also just really like the chemistry between Henry and Delilah. I feel like they banter really well and the voice actors did such a good job, honestly. Like, it, it's just really fun to, uh, like, listen to them interact, I guess. And even though it's like a walking simulator sort of game, it doesn't feel like it in a way. Like, I, it feels very involved still because there's so much story going on. 
same time. And like I said, this is just part one, so if you would like to continue watching, I'll be sure to leave the playlist link for this playthrough down below in the description box. Also, if you would ever like to catch me playing games live, be able to chat with me while I play, definitely go and follow me over on my Twitch channel. Be sure to leave that link as well as all my other social links down there as well. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me today, so thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you ended up liking it. But I will see you guys in my next video, part two. Okay, goodbye.